Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to Are You Garbage. Please make sure you go subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you get the videos as they come out. Yeah. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey! Everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? The show where we sit down with your favorite comedians and find out if they grew up classy or if they're a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day here mm -hmm. down the basement, Aunt Tootie's basement. The holiday season is in bloom. She hasn't gotten the decorations put up down here because her hips been bothering her. And I got to go up in the attic and get the box I told her I could do it Saturday. My co-host is mm -hmm. coming at you from right next to me. <laughs> He's my best pal in the whole wide world. <laughs> if I could be with this guy every second of every day, man, that would be my little slice of heaven. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Hey, hey gang, you're laying it on a little too thick, everybody. <laughs> What's up? Thanks for it's tuning Christmas <laughs> bonus time coming up. What <laughs> yeah. are you talking He's gotta about? He's got to butter up the. He's got to butter up the CEO. Get a little <laughs> bit of cage. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video is available on YouTube. And then, obviously, the bread and butter, patreon.com yes. slash are you garbage. Uh, you can sign up. You can get bonus videos every You can get bonus episodes every week of are you garbage. You can get bonus episodes of hard feelings where it's me and Foley fucking letting it fly. Let me see behind the curtain a little bit. Chopping it up. Also, uh, at the end of every month with uh, the highest level, we do a live stream where you get to ask us questions. We get to ask you questions. We'll play the game with you. It'll be a good fucking time. Check it out. Patreon.com slash are Yes, of course. And of course, you want to pick up a little AYG swag, go over to podcastmerch.com mm -hmm. and grab yourself a tee or a hoodie. Yep. And a little bit of shout out to our old pal, our producer extraordinaire, the magic man, T-Bone. T-Bone. Toby McMullen. Ooh. Soon to be unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> For a little bit behind the curtain here, T-Bone just just botched the recording. We lost the first 20 minutes. A little bit of a backstory. We were in the fucking middle of a heartfelt, intense tale from our very special guest that we have here today. And we're going to do it one more time for you because we're three, four professionals. Three and a half. <laughs> Five and a half if you count Foley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, something just came out of your nose. Oh, my God. Slow-mo that. Punch in on that and it's slow-mo. Oh, my God. Ever since I've... I think that was the vaccine or something. <laughs> <laughs> His antibodies running away. Quick, grab him. Gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our old pal, our very special guest here with us today. Mm -hmm. He is a very funny stand-up comedian and podcaster. He is the host of Two Jacked Bros and a good pal of ours. Ooh. He's had a fucked up childhood. Yeah, crazy we're as about they to come, hear it for a second time. <laughs> 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 Round two of fucking Psycho Tales. <laughs> Give it up for Sydney Gant, everybody. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, we're thanks sorry to have to in, make you tell this all over. Over again. Not a problem. I think the, the 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 craziest part about it is I don't think it was fucked up. But let's <laughs> you were a little vague with the details, a little bit with some of the things I wanted to know. But then we eventually we got to it. So tell us the story again. You grew up in a town called Pottstown, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, which is a little bit of a rural town, mm -hmm. right? Uh, about an hour, fifteen minutes outside of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we were just we were just it was a scrappy little town. Like like uh, we have. Wrestling champions from there. Yeah, I'm aware. And uh, so uh, one of the things that we would always do at the end of every, you know, play session with all the kids is we would all fight each other before we all went. Which out. is insane to me. Like, yeah. it's just like this unspoken rule that everybody just starts punching each other. But we'll make sense in a couple of minutes. Yes. Yeah, not, <laughs> not only was it an unspoken rule that everybody punched each other, if you tried to leave, then you got all the people hard. would come after you. Damn. Like, nobody would leave. You couldn't leave if, if you didn't. Throw a punch or take a punch. I would have been like, my asthma is bothering me. Yeah. Something. I would have fucking, you know what I mean? I got flat feet. I'll, talk <laughs> <to you. laughs> I'll see you guys in math class. Yeah, trying to, get, trying to duck, duck it like the draft. <laughs> yeah. I got a doctor's note. I can't do it. I mean, I was, I, believe it or not, I was actually a hard you know, attempted ducker of that. You tried to duck it. Every single time. Really? Every single time. But like the only, what I would do is like, just like throw myself into it really quickly, like take a couple of lumps and then just try to bounce. Yeah, get it over like a band aid, yeah. like a mosh Basically. pit. Running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't, a, I wasn't, a, I wasn't necessarily. I wouldn't say that I was tough. Yeah, and what age are we talking? It's 
so that stopped in when I was about 15, 16. But that was, again, because uh, guns started to get introduced. Like, it, it, the, the climate, the town changed very dramatically around yeah. that time. So, Damn. Yeah. Did any of your friends have guns? Y- y- uh, later on, yeah. But these are, like, like you said, rural yes. people. So they have, like, rifles and shit like that. Uh, well, see, here's the thing. We're, we're a rural town that should be a suburban town. So no, nobody thinks they're rural in that town. Gotcha. Ooh, that's a dangerous town. Yeah. It, it really is. Hillbillies who don't know they're hillbillies. <laughs> yeah, it's a double-edged sword. <laughs> Damn. For sure. Yikes. Yeah. All right. And what's the backstory with your family? Hit us with that. Because that will connect. Why you that'll bring us up to speed? We're fighting yeah. each other in parking lots after fucking birthday parties. <laughs> that, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course it did. <laughs> Shout out to Chuck E. Cheese. Guy can throw a mean left hook. That rat had it coming, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, so you know, I was like, you know, uh, grew up with uh, a single mom for the most part. Although my my dad lived in the town, and I was I was see my dad pretty often. Okay. But okay. My, Weekly, monthly. What are we talking? I mean, as, as often as I wanted to. He didn't okay. live that far. Gotcha. You know? <laughs> so to, to some degree, it, was, it, it would be on me sometimes. Yeah, if yeah, I yeah. was willing to take the bike trip, mm-hmm. the, the trip over there, if I was like, sometimes I would be like really sitting there making the decision. Like, am I going to go play basketball or see my dad today? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I played a lot of basketball. <laughs> <laughs> hell of a jumper. Kid's got a hell of a shot. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, that was t- until sixth grade. I uh, lived with my mom, and then we moved. With, my brother and I moved with my grandma. My sister ran away from home, and then my mom moved to Coatesville. It was just we just kind of got scattered into the wind, right? And uh, you know, so that that was basically my home life. It was uh, this was up until sixth grade. Up until sixth grade. Now, your mother was a big part of your life back then. Yeah, man. Influence. My, my mom was a a big part of the town back then. You and know, tell the was, folks out there what she did. Her hobbies. What did her hot crossword puzzles? (laughs) Sudoku. (laughs) Yeah, no. So my mom, uh, which is, again, it's a very hard thing to explain to people. Uh, My mom, she was a she was a street fighter. And so when I when I say that, like everybody, oh, yeah, my mom would like get loud. Like, yeah, my mom would get loud and fight people at grocery stores, too. But that like she would fight in scheduled fights. Yeah, dude, that's in fucking insane. Yeah. My mom worked at a dentist office. <laughs> Dude, the only fight I ever saw my mom almost get in is I think we might have talked about it on this. The this family from uh, Flower Town moved into like our neighborhood. They hit the lottery, or it was like there was like a fucking slip and fall accident or something. They came across a couple million bucks. Oh yeah. So they were real those. trashy and moved in. I got beat. I got hit in the face with a hockey stick. We were playing hockey. I got hit in the face with a hockey stick by the one that was my age. My brother came out to be like, yo, what the fuck? And then his older brother beat up my older brother. And then my mom comes out. We're both like bloody on the front yard. And she goes and starts screaming at the mom. And I'm like, yo, well, you're going to get fucking worked, lady. Like, this family's going to fucking run through us. It's like the guy that knocked out Debo for the bird. The guy Debo knocked out for the bike. Yeah. Coming down here messing with these people. Yeah. That's crazy. My, my, uh, so my, my, I come from a family of fighters. Like, I'm probably the least fighty of my family. Yeah. Right? And for the list, we've went over this in the part that we lost, but Sydney is pure fucking bonkers. Crazy <laughs> <Yeah>. person. <laughs> not looking for confrontation, but definitely not running away from it. No, I think I need it. Yeah. To some degree to feel <laughs> stable. Okay. You know? Psycho. So this town had this almost circuit of underground fighting. Yeah, so my so I mean, if you don't if you know anything about Pottstown, uh, PA, it's uh it's a town that kind of builds professional athletes too. Mm-hmm. Like we had professional football players, sure. uh, basketball players, uh, an Olympic bronze medalist in wrestling. Like we produce pretty pretty good athletes. Mm-hmm. And your mother was recognized in this circuit for being one of the toughest people. Oh, my mom's a legend in my town. Damn, undefeated street fighter. Do you have any idea what a ballpark purse would be for something like this? Because I would imagine with the with gambling on the fights, there would have to be a pretty decent amount of money at stake. Not like millions of dollars, but obviously yeah, probably a couple of hundo. Couple of hundo on a fucking the, this Saturday. This is the eighties, the nineties. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I'll, I'll say this: I don't. I never knew exactly how much money she won, but uh, one year for school, 
she bought all of me and my brother's school clothes with money she won from one fight. Damn, that's yeah. pretty good. Dude, we were balling in Bradley's. <laughs> balling in Bradley's. It I love like, it. And she was like so proud that she was she was buying all of her school clothes <laughs> with fight money that she didn't even, she wasn't even like trying to uh, micromanage what I bought. It was all windbreakers. Yeah. Aww. Like she, she let me get all windbreakers. She also made me buy a couple of long johns to wear under them for the winter. But you got to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She turns into Oscar De La Hoya. Huh? Yeah. I love it. Get whatever you want. Go at the, ahead. At the end of the day, she's still a great mom. <laughs> got to get long johns. You got to stay warm. It's great. Was she, was she strict with you about what you did? No, she was only strict that we had to work hard and get good grades because you really? are you are yeah. a very calculated thorough you know critical thing you're you're not like wild or you know like you're very you're very intelligent very smart very calculated person and you see that's you know you would say on the surface the the underground fighting is garbage but then when you say that no it's garbage i mean you'll say that on the surface at the bottom on the top underground i mean yeah it's pretty garbage even it's with trash, her being so dude. disciplined with their kids i don't know i would give a little give a little leeway on that well so, i'm yeah she did a great job with them but she's still a fucking backyard brawler dude <laughs> i mean like she's in a fight club <laughs> yeah <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> Man. Yeah, me, my brother and I. I think I've met her, this. maybe. I think I might have met her you at one point. I think could've. I did, yeah. My brother and I, we talk about this a lot. It's like, because my brother's a good guy, too. He He's like, uh, you know, a boss at his job. Like He's a he's a hardworking dude. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what I mean? And uh, it's like she accidentally raised good kids. To, yeah, yeah. It was, it was. But not accidentally. She put the screws to you. Not really. I mean, my mom was, she, I, I, don't, even, I don't even think, I can't remember even getting, like yell, she wouldn't try to intimidate us. Like, really? No, not at all. Because she was very, uh, she was very into the idea of us being polite. You know, just like being well. mannered You are v- very well mannered, very polite. Yeah. Very respectful. Always sorry. Thank you. Very. Yeah, Were yeah, you yeah. scared of her growing up? Was there like an unwritten? Was did I'm she, scared did, of her now? Did she not have to be that way because you were already petrified of her? <sighs> no, nah, she. My mom is. Uh, so one one time. When she thought my sister was afraid of her, she made my sister fight her. Like we we weren't allowed. Talk to... about school the hard knocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now a... get outside here and fight your mom. Pack yeah, of wolves like, over there. Because my mom was my, <laughs> my mom's whole thing is like she there's like no cowards in her house. So like I was one of those kids. So I would never oh, even want to tell my it. mom. I get it. That I was made so so. It's like again, you're not going to be afraid of anything. Yes, all face right. it all. You're never going to be afraid. See, of See, so here's here's an example. It's like hardcore shit. It is. It's pretty hardcore. So here's an example. Of what I'm talking <laughs> there's about. a different way of going around it than right hooks. <laughs> 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 you can you can instill that instill that theory in people without fucking punching them in the head. I'm sitting there like I don't know. I'm on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my so my name is Sydney, but everybody calls me Scotty. Right. In, in my in my town, and so I was I was Sydney until my first day of kindergarten. Right. I come home. So in kindergarten, they do the roll call. Sydney, I raise my hand. A couple kids laughed about it because they thought it was going to be a girl. Oh, right? uh, yeah. And I just thought that was like, the funniest thing. Mm-hmm. You know, it was hilarious. Like these, like, I'm not a girl. They think I'm a girl. You know, yeah, and I, yeah. I went home and I just told my mom, like, oh, they thought I was a girl. Because yeah. My name was it's a great Sydney. misdirect. And she was like, so right then and there, she was like, that, no, they're never calling you Sydney at that school again. She went to school the next day and told them to start calling me Scotty. And then the the kids that made fun of me, she took me to their houses to oh, fight them. Oh my god! First day of kindergarten. Did you win? Uh, what did the, the other mom say? Yeah, the, no, the other mom <laughs> wasn't having it. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was uh, very lucky. Wow. How about that? Saturday morning, the doorbell rings. Oh, it's the Gants. What can we do for you? Bring Timmy's little bitch ass <laughs> out here. <laughs> He's Heard about to you, catch yeah. his smoke. Heard you got some running mouths in there. <laughs> Are you thinking Sydney, Sydney, shadow, yeah, Sydney shadow box? Wow. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Holy so shit. So that's what we're talking about here. Yeah, I was one of those kids. I was one of those kids getting trotted around to fight people. So I, I could never even, I could never even let my mom know that. Like I remember when this one uh, big kid, uh, Sharon Greenwich, kind of moved to the area we were living in. Mm-hmm. He's just he was like way bigger than he should have been for the. We age. had a couple. Those, of those. kids were always they so tra- scary. They transferred in. And they were like the tough guy for a little while, but eventually somebody got them. Yeah, it's like, where'd you come from? The power plant? What the fuck <laughs> yeah. happened? And I, I avoided him with everything that I could. Okay. He, his, he was a little bit of a bully. Sure. So, 
And it was like, if if I get in any interaction with him, my mom is going to make me fight this guy. Mm-hmm. So I, I stayed away from him as much as I could. And then uh, one day he shot me in the chest with a pellet gun. Jesus Christ. And my mom, like I came home crying about it. Uh, like through my shirt, it was like lodged into my chest. <laughs> I'm freaking out about it. She's looking at it. She's like, "What happened?" I'm like, "Sharon shot me with a pellet gun." And she's like, "He did what?" She took me back to his house with a pellet lodged in my chest. Oh my god! To fight this dude, and it's like I wouldn't want to fight him now. Yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah, he's dude. Sharon is like six eight now. Jeez, how does that go? Uh, I, I got just, my ass kicked. No, his, his <laughs> luckily his dad wouldn't let it happen. Sure, you know his his and he also his dad beat the shit out of him in front of us. Really? So, yeah. Damn, your town's dude. Fucked that shit's up, fucking dude. wild. Yeah, yeah. Holy you shit! You guys ever hear of a timeout or anything? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Go to the mall, grab a soft yeah. pretzel or something, will you? Taking a movie, Jesus Christ! I'm, I'm pretty sure timeouts were invented when I was like ten. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, I've been missing out on this shit. <laughs> You get a timeout when you're knocked out. That's the timeout. <laughs> the, only, the only timeout you got was when you got sent to the corner. You're yeah. Putting ice on yeah. your yeah. back. Spitting, <laughs> like, you cut me, Spitting in a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Timeout is like, getting in, some... in between rounds. Yeah. <laughs> your cut man shows up. She's like, I told you, work the job. You're like, I'm fucking trying. The kid's six six. He's in third grade. <laughs> We're in a mouthpiece to school every day. Dude, Jesus, that's fucking bonkos. Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man, I totally would never fuck with you ever now knowing all of this. Not that I ever would, but. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. Yeah, you no, know, for sure. It was like, but, and that's the thing, too. Like, my mom, she, she just, you know, so she would fight all these ladies. And, you know, we weren't allowed to go to these fights, but, like, we snuck out to a few of them. And that has to do, I'm sorry to cut you off. That has to leave an, I don't know what the word, an impression. Fuck you up. Going, sneaking out and watching through people's legs, your mom fight another person. Yeah, have you met him? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This is what we're talking about. Fully, that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, for sure, fuck them up. That's why he's in the basement, baby. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you think that affected you at all, Sydney? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, on such a level, because you couldn't be able to under... Because I'm just thinking about things that I saw when I was a kid that I didn't understand. Yeah. And seeing that, your parents fucking. <laughs> <laughs> How's he up time upside down like that? Well, um, I, I will say this though: uh, as far as like something that is impacting a child consistently throughout their lives, like fighting is very honest. You mm-hmm. you see people in their truth in a mm-hmm. fight. So, you know, if it, if if my, my my mom won every fight she was in, but it was uh, it was just, there's just something really pure about two people in a fight. Sure. Okay. You know? So, I mean, it was, it was pretty sick. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, it's fucking dope. Yeah, like, the only, the, the part that sucked about it is that sometimes she would fight people's moms who I wanted to be friends with. Uh, and That's a tough sleepover. God. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Yikes. Watkins has the jaw. <laughs> My mom said hi, by the way. <laughs> Sorry about breaking your orbital. <laughs> <laughs> Rematch yeah. next March. What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, it was sleepovers sucked. Damn. I, I I had to leave multiple sleepovers because there would be not not necessarily the person who's like the, the parents whose house it was, but other people had to sleep over. Like my mom had fought their mom and they would have an issue with it. And then it was just a, a whole thing. I would just like leave. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. Did she ever get in trouble with the police or anything like that? No, nah, the pol- so again, Pottstown is a fighting town. So if the police showed up to a fight situation, they let they let them duke it out and then just yeah, send people it, yeah, on their yeah, way. Yeah. So no, nah, I've never seen my mom get in trouble with the police. God damn, that yeah. is hardcore. Was it was it bare knuckle boxing or were they? Uh... Yeah, they they showed up as is. It was as, <laughs> as is fighting. This is as is. <laughs> Oh, Toby, you sweet little country bumpkin. <laughs> who, uh, who sung the national anthem? Just, uh, out of curiosity. Was Michael Buffer there? No. <laughs> People selling peanuts, Toby's asking. That was a school newspaper question right there. <laughs> Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Look in the back. Yeah, oh, like, what my. size gloves should we bring to yeah. this fight? Are you doing 16 <laughs> ounces? What are you thinking? Headgear? No headgear? <laughs> they carpooled to the fight. Oh, dude. Holy shit. Now, how has that affected Sydney now? 
because you do a little, you do some mixed martial arts stuff and all that, right? Yeah, I've been doing martial arts since I was a kid. So when, like, growing up in that type of house, my mom wanted everybody to be able to fight. And <laughs> Guess so. it's family business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically, <laughs> it really is. So my mom would go to, uh, she, would, she would train at a boxing gym. So that was always a, a really interesting thing to watch because the, most of the ladies that she fought were just people that thought they were tough. Yeah. But my mom was trained. actually a skilled, trained was fighter. She, was she a bigger or smaller? I no, picture her like small and wiry. Yeah, she's like uh, like maybe 5'2". Damn. Fit. You know, like just- a, Right now. Uh, I wouldn't, she's, she's looking a little round lately to me. Yeah. Do you think your mom could COVID. beat me? Could your mom beat me up right now? Uh, I, probably not. You're a big guy. Yeah, yeah but he's big too guy. big. He's broken. Yeah. It's the law of diminishing returns. So I will say this. Uh, <laughs> if, if you don't knock her out in 30 seconds, you're in trouble. Yeah, 30. <laughs> dude. You're in trouble. Dude. 30 seconds. I have, <laughs> I have the cardio for like six seconds. Yeah. Yeah, then yeah. If she, he doesn't she, get a hold did. of him quick. Oh, man. Yeah. She's, Patreon. I, I, Patreon. <laughs> Yo, go get Mrs. Gant. That'll be on the $50. I would level. let her tune me up. Yeah. You yeah, can put, a, I, little, I, put I, a little boxing I, ring in I'd here. I'd watch that. I'd <laughs> yeah. watch that. Your mom beat up fully. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would, pay, I would join the Patreon to watch her beat you up. I tell you what, watching the fact I get beat up is pretty good. Yeah. That's good TV. I'll tell you that right now. I don't mind it. All right, so you, so she trained as a boxer. You're into mixed martial arts now. Your wife is into something. Jiu-jitsu, yeah, right? Jiu-jitsu. You, all, you guys all do jiu-jitsu. Yeah, so, so what happened? So when, when I was a kid. Jesus Christ, when, the whole fucking squad. It, well, this, it's all I, it's, it's the only thing that makes sense to me. The I feel kids like do? Your kids do it My as kids, well. yeah, absolutely. I feel like everybody should like train in fighting to some degree because it just mellows you out to a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, like, uh, you know, like, like, like Kevin was saying, like, I, don't, I don't necessarily try to start fights with people, but I will let you escalate the situation to a fight. You know, but I'm not going to try to escalate it. Okay. I remember one time outside of a bar. That's real psycho on, shit. Yeah, on South Street. I was, like, out there smoking. And some, I think it was me and you out there. We were on South Street. And there was this weird interaction with this guy who, like, asked for a cig or something. It was, like, me and you hanging out front. And, like, I saw it. I'm, like, I got to end this now. Otherwise, it's going to be a thing, right? I'm, like, yeah, whatever, man. Like, you know, have a good one. And, like, <laughs> Sydney's, like, so where are you from? Or something. And, like, kept the conversation uh, going. And I'm, like, all right. Like, like a spider. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're not walking you're not walking away from it you're definitely not like gonna just hit the guy but you're also like hey i'm down for wherever this goes i (laughs) am game well and and i'm also i'm also conscious of other people around me too so i thought you were going to bring up that time in the back of raven there were these two black guys that were showing up they weren't comedians but they showed up for a couple weeks straight i vaguely remember this fight people yeah and one day you and i were in the back of the room and they were trying. oh right holy shit i forgot about this so they were trying to intimidate kevin and me in the back of the room, and I forgot about this. So get me out of flex on some dude, pussies. <laughs> it started to escalate. It was getting like chest, yeah, chest yeah, yeah. bumpy. And I remember, I'll never forget this. This is this is probably the day that I was like, I fucking love Kevin Rock, right? Because I looked over at him. Don't hit me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the phone with my dad. <laughs> I'm calling Sydney's mom real quick. Hey, how do I throw a hook? <laughs> So I look, I look over at Kevin. He's he's jerking both of them off, like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Fuck yeah, Kevin! We're yeah, out get of him! Get he's him. a good kid." <laughs> no, I, I look over at Kevin, and again, like he has this look on his face, like that basically says, "I don't want to do this, but I will if it has to happen." Yeah. And I saw that, and I was like, "All right, we're good, mm-hmm. we're good," and I just let it go. So I'm not, I'm not gonna try to get anybody else involved in anything. That that's a that's a big thing for me, like to the point that, like if somebody doesn't like me, I'm like, listen, don't defend me to him. Like if we if we have a person like in our mutual circle that doesn't like me, just let him dislike me. Don't yeah. don't stick up for you me. You like to work alone, huh? I do. I'm alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he, he definitely got a go bag under the bed in case he's got a fucking in case he's got a split town, a couple of passports, a stack of ten grand. Holy shit! <laughs> couple of pain pills. The street. Yeah. Wow, I forgot about that story. Holy shit! Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. It was I, I, just because uh, I, I remember 
I said something to him. I was like, yo, like, I was like, yo, you can't, I was like, you guys got to go. And he's like, what are you going to do about it? And I, it was like, what, or like, one of those things. And I just didn't, I don't know what I said exactly, but it was like, what, like, whatever I have, like, whatever we want to do, we can do or something like that. And then his buddy stood up or something. Yeah. Then you stood up and we were like, yeah. And they were like, yeah. We we're like, yeah. And they go, all right, we'll leave. And we were like, <laughs> <laughs> and dude, this, gentlemen, the yeah. second they walked out that door, I looked over and said, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to get my ass kicked. Thank God my buff black friend hopped up and fucking flexed. Am I in the gang now? (laughs) (laughs) Fucking nerd. Want to go to Pottstown? (laughs) If Kevin lost the fight, you would have driven him to those guys' houses and fight him again. (laughs) T-Bone! I'm crying. Sydney, I don't want to do it. Talking to his parents at the front door. Who are you? <laughs> my, what, my mom would have stopped making me be friends with Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> you no can't be hanging s- out with that fat Ryan boy. Yeah. No more sleepovers at the pussy's house. <laughs> oh, man. Holy the good shit. old days. Whew. I love it. Let's see. Let's get into a couple of yes. questions. I'm interested. What we're here for. I'm, I'm going to go. Okay. Now, with what you just told us being what it is do you think you're garbage man i, I feel like i'm gonna make the same mistake ryan shaner said but i i do not think i'm garbage i don't think you are either i i think this is i think you're i don't know sydney's very oddly opinionated on things he's kind of like all like or you should feel like you're opinionated on things that most people don't have opinions on <laughs> <laughs> and you stick to your gut, and it's just very weird. You like he's like an onion. You're like, wait, mm-hmm. what the fuck are you doing? So I don't know. I bet you he's very disciplined. I bet you everything's probably organized. I don't think the kids probably get to eat bad foods. They probably on a good diet. No, I don't think so. Well, am I wrong here? Are you gonna hit me? I mean, well, <laughs> I choke him out now. <laughs> you're, you're you're not wrong, but you're not completely right either. So I so I grew up eating pretty healthy. Right. You know, and, you know, when, when your mom yeah, fighting all the time. Yeah, fucking holy field, I guess you would. Yeah, she's, she's got to make weight. <laughs> <laughs> all that road work. <laughs> a lot of boiled chicken, you know. <laughs> Drinking the eggs like in Rocky. <laughs> He's got them in his bottle. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so there was a, I also like, uh, the, the the everybody in my dad's side of the family becomes like diabetic and loses the foot. Ah, mm-hmm. okay. so my mom was just like, "You just let's that's just not, not happening." Do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I was, I was, you know, I was like, like McDonald's was a big treat, you know, yeah. for us. And then, and it took a long time for me to even get used to the taste of McDonald's. Like I didn't get used to the taste of McDonald's until I was a teenager working. You worked, Ooh, at you worked at a McDonald's. Yeah. Worked you at a McDonald's and a Wendy's. He's he, dude. It's, he's like one of those people on the internet that beats the fuck out of the <laughs> beats the fuck out of the customers for running their mouth. See Sydney their... crawling through the drive-through <laughs> <laughs> with Frosty all over him, <laughs> fucking choking some guy out in his car. Uh, yeah, I was I was working on the grill, man. I was like I was trying to be a ladies' man at that time, so I was like I was more likely to finger a chick in the in the freezer. Ooh, yeah. I like right. it cold, huh? Okay. <laughs> the ice man coming. <laughs> Could have hit the broom closet. Um, put all a right. coat on. Well, we're familiar with where you came up, Pottstown area, right? Mm-hmm. What the big one is, what grocery store did you go to growing up? And what do you go to now that you're a, a family man? You have your own family. What do you What do, you do now? So uh, it was super fresh that turned into a giant, and now I'm still a giant guy. That ain't too bad. Not at all. What That's pretty mean? good. Yeah. Giants, yeah. all right. I was a super fresh kid growing up, too. Yeah. But then they changed at some point. They got bought out or something. So that's, a lot of them flopped. I didn't realize that Super Fresh was a little bit of a lower budget grocery was store it? compared to Giant. Ooh. Right? I, think, I think Giant might have bought them out and, they, and it was a little more upscale. Okay. And I didn't realize that. But it was for me, the brand recognition was like, I'm a Super Fresh guy. It's Giant now, so I'm a Giant guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's not shabby at all. That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, what were you, Gennardi's, Weiss? Yeah, Gennardi's and then Giant. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But there wasn't the bloodbath going on in the fucking streets in Bluebell. That's the. <laughs> if you would have said we got our own meat from the woods, I'd have been like, "All right, that makes sense." <laughs> well, we only eat what we hunt. Yeah. So you hit me with a giant. See, <laughs> see, I'm telling you, this is gonna be. This, it's gonna. It's all gonna pan out. It's all gonna work out. Uh, I got one too. What'd you get on your SATs? Uh, the first time I got a 1490. See, oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, but he's also street fighting every weekend. <laughs> yeah, but it's also guys. It's like so the the town that I live, the part of the town that I lived in, we grew up in a uh, like a government subsidized housing development. A fourteen ninety. Yeah, but so here, so hear me out though. So 
in that that's the highest one we've gotten. I think a fourteen hundred. Yeah, was the biggest was the best we had before. You should have been in like the CIA or something like that. Oh, you uh, would be a great FB, but you don't really follow forces. rules. Yeah, he doesn't like, like rules. You know me. Yeah, he <laughs> doesn't like me. rules. Special yeah. forces. You should have done Delta Force. I used Green to think Beret. Of, I was, I, but again, you would have to follow rules to that point. You know, he could you never gotta, make it there. Yeah, no, it's you know it, it, again. It's, it's, oh, you would have got discharged for doing something fucked up. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't like to get caught doing things. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weirdly yeah. said. That was so Well, there's cameras pissed. on you right now, buddy boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So don't get any fucking ideas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, I've, I've, never, I've never gotten in trouble for anything, ever. Like, mm. I've never been in. Because it's like, if, if I was doing something, and I'm, like, we're, we're with people, and somebody's being a little rowdy about it, I'm gone. Like, I like to hang out with people that know how to keep it clandestine. Clandestine. I like to say clandestine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 1490 my yeah. ass. <laughs> Maybe a 940. Hey, we'll say it every way you want to say it, big guy. Yeah, I've, I've heard it three ways. <laughs> <laughs> so you were a good student. Yes, I was a good student. Was, uh, would you guys sit down and like have dinner every night together as a family growing up? No, it was uh, she would cook dinner and we just had to eat. What you do know? you mean? It's just like she would cook dinner and we would like serve herself. You could eat when you eat. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it was like a lot of, uh, a lot of times we, we, we would hang out around each other a lot, but we weren't always doing the same thing at the same time. So like one of us would be eating, others are watching TV. Doing and homework. Like bring her food in, yeah. like eat with the people watching TV. Kind I of gotcha. Thing. Yeah. All right. But, you're, but so your mother was a good mom other than the street fighting. Well, I don't think they're necessarily connected, right? Like you can be a good mom outside of street fighting. Right. Yeah. I mean, she had she had moments of being a good mom. I mean, because okay. because again, like I don't want my brother watching this and be like, "What the fuck are you saying she's a good mom for?" Like, <laughs> <just> like... <laughs> I love how that's what your brother would get upset about. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want people walking around thinking she was good. <laughs> Fuck, that's bullshit. I got a rep to break that. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say I don't want you telling people she was a bad mom. Yeah, that's what I yeah. thought. No, but see, here's the thing. She's like, she's super supportive of everything that I do. Right. Uh, she really believes in my potential to do anything. Uh-huh. Right. But at the same time, like, we didn't have a very stable house. Like, we, I think the longest I ever lived in one place was eight months. Damn. Damn. Yeah. So she, unfortunately, when you, when you are a fighter and you hold yourself in a high regard like that, the way normal people get down is infuriating. So she would be at work and she worked in a lot of nursing homes and stuff. She didn't like the cattiness, right? Mm-hmm. Because she didn't talk about people behind her back unless she wanted to fuck them up. So when she would hear that people were talking about her, she would always go to that person and say, look, please keep my name out of your mouth or I'm going to choke you in the break room. <laughs> right? So here, here's, here's, a, here's a crazy story. <laughs> Dude, no, here's a crazy story. Dude, this is, the not break that, room. <laughs> not the time the... my mom enrolled me in a fucking toddler fight club. <laughs> here's a crazy story. <laughs> so, again, so... Uh, when I was, uh, by the time I was in sixth grade, we, I lived in, I think it was 11 different places in the same Damn, town. That's like military Jeez. style. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty crazy because she would get in a fight at work, get evicted. And then she would just have like, to piece something together to get somewhere else. Type but thing. she wouldn't right away because she knows that since she works in nursing homes all the time, she'll always be able to find another job. Okay. So she would just like linger chill a bit. until like everything started to fall apart. And then once everything fell apart. Then she'd gotcha. get her shit together. Gotcha. Right? Hmm. So we were constantly, you know, being chased out of houses all the time. Damn. Right? And uh, I forget what story I was going to tell. Oh, in the break room? Somebody took you oh, in the okay. break room? So, <laughs> so flash forward to, uh, you know, I'm about like maybe 35, like five years ago. Okay. Like my, my son was definitely born when this was happening. For the first time in my mom's life, she worked at a job for more than a year. Okay. Right? Holy shit. And we, we all went out to dinner and had a big <laughs> celebration. <laughs> Where'd you go out to dinner? Uh, we, was it, uh, it was like a chain restaurant in King of Prussia. Applebee's Cheesecake, cheesecake a little, Factory. A little, yeah, it was like a cheesecake factory. Okay. Yeah. A little, yeah. Did you guys all beat the waitress up in the parking lot? <laughs> <laughs> a little family activity? <laughs> She ran yeah. her mouth on the way up. That, the was, that, was, that was the tip we gave her. Keep your hands up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking jump the hostess. <laughs> so, Hi, how can I help you this evening? <laughs> Just gets pummeled. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so this is the, it's a big deal to her, and she I don't know how she's in, engaging with people at work, but uh, my mom's like a super confident person, and she she talks a lot of shit, right? Mm-hmm. So these women at her work decided they didn't like her, and they were trying to get her fired. This the this is the place she'd be at for the year. For the year, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they lied on her and said that she attacked somebody in the break room. They choked. She choked somebody in the break room, right? Very specific language that they chose mm-hmm. for that because. One of them got a hold of her files. Her previous file where she said, I'll choke you in the break room. Right. So now this is like my brother and my sister did not believe my mom that she did not do this to this lady. I don't believe her that she didn't do it to this lady. I, was, I don't know much either, but okay. I'm just saying I the believe facts, her, I believe her. The facts totally that I fair. do know. I right? believe her. Me and you. Right? Yeah, yeah, I, like I. I believed her. Sure. Because she, I, I, she had never lied to me about a fight before. As a matter of fact, she loves to brag, brag about, about every it. fight that she's in. And I was telling This Andy, is why I say it's not garbage right here. Honor. He's going to tell yeah. us that she for sure choked the woman out of the Maybe afterwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, dude. No, this for so, sure happened. So it, it, it gets, it gets, this, this turns into a big, this, this turns into a big situation where we, now we have lawyers involved, right? Because my, my, my mom's like, I didn't do this. They're, they're, they're lying. And like the people that are in human resources, oh they're God. involved in this. So now we got lawyers involved. So because that happened, we got, a lot of files on my mom, like mm-hmm. her whole entire work history from like the eighties oh, until Jesus this Christ. moment, right? Dude, it was like not looking good. It was like a pack. It, like you could it was thick. It's, like, thick. it's like Wolverines. So me and Anzi are <laughs> me and Anzi are, are looking through it, dude. And it's just like page after page of attacked woman in a break room, choked woman in a break room. Dude. Insane. But it ended up being true. It ended up being true. Like she See? didn't, she didn't do that. They lost the lawsuit. Yeah, and closed down the nursing home. <laughs> oh my god! What? Did yeah. she so get a little won? bit of cash? She yeah. won a big lawsuit. She got a little bit. She didn't win. She didn't win money from the lawsuit, but she she won her honor, I guess. Okay. You know? hey. It was a, she was she was compensated a little bit, uh-huh. but it wasn't it wasn't like a big lawsuit. Is she working out? Or is she is she riding off that? No, she's working. Okay. She's working. That that money good for her did not last long. I got gotcha. you. Wow. Yeah. A lot of windbreakers. I, think. <laughs> lot, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that was on the episode we lost, but <laughs> I forget where it was. All right. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. What about now? What kind of person are you now? Like, um, like when I say you're not garbage, I you know, and I see discipline. Brush your teeth in the shower. I, if I'm late. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's uh. Do you, but do you, so you don't keep the toothbrush in the shower. No, I would not do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Every time something that I pass over, then I'm like, I'm not that garbage. I keep looking at Foley. Because he is that garbage. <laughs> this, is, this is his wheelhouse. Yeah. Um, I got one for you. you uh, you're in public, right? You're whatever. And you have, to, uh, go, you have to go to the bathroom, number two. How do you clean the public toilet seat? Uh, I'm garbage. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You just Dude, go bareback. Dude, I ball dog it. Really? Wow. I, and, and, and listen. Dude. He's seen shit, man. Yeah. It's like. It, he doesn't give a fuck about pooping in the King of Prussia mall bathroom. It, if, it, if it looks okay to me. Yeah. I'll plop down. Damn. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. But I also, in, in my defense, I, I we like did a lot of chores growing up. Mm-hmm. So I know what a compromised toilet seat looks sure, like. Sure, 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 <laughs> sure. Yeah. I, I also only handicap stall. Smart. But I hear uh, there's yeah. a rule that everybody does that, so that's actually the more used one. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. 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 Um, do you sneak snacks into the movie theater? Um, Ansley does. My wife does. Okay. What okay. were we talking about? Like candies and stuff like that? Uh, Are you sneaking in like fast food? Fast food, sandwiches, oh. stuff that doesn't make sound. Sandwiches? Yeah. That's the, are you stopping at like Wawa to get sandwiches? Or are you making them at no, home and bringing them at home? Oh, uh, that's trash. <laughs> that is trash. No, I'm, I'm that's pulling trash. back now. I was like, I thought that was gonna be the not trash. I think version. no. I, I disagree. <laughs> no. I think odor, odor is the big thing. If you're making the ham and cheese at home and having it at the movies, that's fine. Have the ham if and cheese at home. If you roll in with Chinese food and it smells up the whole joint. No, have the ham and cheese at home. If you're making it, you're at home going, what are you? You're, if, you if you're not going to the beach, you're going to a fucking movie. Well, I tell you what, tough guy, you tell him next time he's sitting behind you in the movie theater <laughs> and he's eating a sandwich. Sir, the no, whole outside. lineup of psychos. <laughs> the <laughs> kids get up and stomp you. <laughs> Every, Pop, let me handle this. <laughs> All the Gans beat the shit out yeah. of me. Yeah, that's I, it's trash. I'm sorry. That's I'll trash. So. Okay. You're I good. Mean, well, you're, you're trash. Good. You're good. You're yeah. 
you're good. What about your towel? Where do you, where do your towels go in the uh, in the in the bathroom? They go over the. Do you hang them over the uh, shower curtain? Do you have a designated hook behind the door? This isn't good. Or do this they order. go on the door? All right, I. So it goes. It goes on the shower. The 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 towel rod. I definitely put them on the towel rod. However, uh-huh. and just in case my wife watches this, I I don't change my towel. That's like, a long time. Like my wife has to do it. Yeah. Like if she, if she comes in and she gets to the point where she's like, I'm. Di- That's bad. Yeah. I. <sighs> I like a fresh one. I'm kind of the same way though. Yeah, my really? wife will be like, "Well, we're, ah. we're I'm washing your t- I'm washing the yeah. towels." Yeah. yeah. And I've I've wow. I've, I've almost gotten annoyed with her. Like when she's like, ah, "I got to take this towel." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, you're right." Yeah. <laughs> you're right. No, I know. I'm just I'm just I, rubbing fungus on Yeah, I take offense to it. I'm like, "Oh wait, oh, How yeah, long are we yeah. talking? I'll, like, a week. We, we I don't keep track of it. Yeah, I don't keep track. It's like either. whenever she decides to change my towel, I get a new towel. Jesus. It's like when she when she when she decides that it's to start it's starting to affect the way she looks as a person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's when she changes. Yeah, the I get it. I get it. That's trashy. I do the same thing. But. What about the Gantt vacations now? Where do you guys go? Well, the, well it's it's five of us. I have three kids. Uh-huh. Right. So I mean, we we go where we can where we can afford at the time. So we we do the beach, you know, when we can, and we also sometimes we'll do uh we'll, we'll do a trip like we'll get you know get in a plane and go somewhere. Okay. Well, we usually combine with uh, my wife's brother, family, and or do something, like a yeah. big, like run out of house together. Okay, and and do that. So the, la- the last one of those we did was in San Antonio. All right, not, not bad. too shabby, not, not too shabby. Not bad. Uh, have you ever taken a couch or any other furniture from the trash? I have not. No. Ooh, do you okay. get cash back when you go to like Seven Eleven or anything? What do you mean, like from like ATM wise, like no. or like from the register? From the register. register. If you're buying a, a Gatorade and they go, do you want cash back? I mean, well, if yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to defend it before I admitted it. Let me just admit it first. Let me just admit it first. But listen, <laughs> it's better than paying an ATM fee. Let me just like get this, get no. the snack I want. No. And That's get the money why it's garbage. That's why it's garbage. Do you use the ATM to just check your balance sometimes? No, my I I have no idea how much money I have ever. My wife handles all okay. that stuff. Like, really? Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't like to know because I have. A, I'm a compulsive spender. Okay. So if I if I look at my balance and I see five dollars, that five dollars is gone immediately. So it's like if I don't know and I just keep convincing myself I don't have a lot of money. That's smart. Yeah, it makes it easier to know. That spend. actually is smart. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Okay, I got one. I think that I don't know. Do you currently or have you ever carried a pocket knife? Uh, yes. Oh, do you have? Wait, now you have one on you. Yes. Really? Swiss Army though. So it's, it's a multi tool. It's a little functional. Yeah. Is it like is it the, the classic one? Swiss it, Army? No, it's just. Uh, well, yeah, I think I think we'd call this the classic one. It's uh, the probably the most common. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, all right. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, give yeah. you that. Yeah. Is it more functionality? Or is it more like if shit goes down in the streets, I can I can corkscrew you or something? <laughs> it ain't for the toothpick. Is, I gotta, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you that. <laughs> I don't know. Much. He's not cutting any threads. <laughs> yeah, that's not for threatening. That's for slitting. <laughs> no, we, my my mom was always a big thing about guys knowing how to use tools and having tools on them. Too. I like that. Yeah, I like Can't that. See, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm on the fa- I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. To be honest with you, anyone in your family have calf tattoos? <sighs> oh God! All right, this is like. That's this a is a yes. very sneaky way to find out that I'm garbage. So here, here, so no calf tattoos, but my sister has multiple neck tattoos, Ooh. and one of them is a tattoo of her boyfriend's lips or her husband's lips. I forgot to ask you, when did she come back from running away? She never came back. She? What do you mean? Like she never once Move my back sister, back in the house. house. Once my sister ran away in sixth grade, I never lived with her again. Where did she run away to? Uh, Westchester, I believe. To whose house? Uh. Another friend who ran away, they lied about how old they were, and they got an apartment. That's pretty fucking. In sixth grade? No, I was in he sixth was grade. Oh, she was, she was 44. Say. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. How old was she? not really running away. It's moving out at that point. How old was she? Uh, so I'm. she's four years, five years older than me. So like 15, so she six, yeah, 16. So she would have been 15, yeah. 16. No Seven, shit, yeah. huh? And yeah. they got an apartment together, and that was it. She never came back. No, well, I mean, like my mom and my sister live together now, but I never lived with her again. Wow. Yeah. Man, you never hear of a runaway actually being successful. She's not successful. <laughs> <laughs> 
You did hear the neck tattoos. Right? <laughs> well, they, got, they got the first apartment, I'm yeah. saying. Sure. She's a classic runaway. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you draw, do you currently have a bottle of Febreze in your car? Because if you do, that is trash. I do. Yeah. I know. Right next to me. Yeah, it's first, trash. First of all. Or like those wipes. Yeah, That's I, also trashy. I, I don't. Uh, just yesterday, uh, my wife cleaned out both cars. Okay. So she, and again, like I, 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 would, I would contend that she's way more garbage than I am, but uh, she doesn't like when I get those wipes to have in the car. She always gets rid of them. Yeah. You know, and I'm yeah. like, I would like to. Just keep them under the seat. They're not bothering you. Crazy. Anybody. That, that's not garbage either. I got Febreze. I have Rain-X and, glass wipes, and I have and I have Under Armour and, and a lot of boogers or Armour on. Wait, so why, why is Febreze garbage though? Well, it's just like it's the cheap way to make your car seem nice, right? Like it's you get in, it's overly powerful. Instead of just continuously cleaning your car on a regularly scheduled basis, or just leaving it dirty, like I do, you're like trying to you're trying to you put pig, fucking lipstick on a pig. You know what I mean? It's like. You get in a car, you're like, you just, I got it from you. Get in your car. It's just Febreze, you know? Mm-hmm. I've never, this might even be worse. Anytime I ever had Febreze in a car, it was never for the car. What was it for? I smoke weed. So I would like just uh, spray and just like kind of walk through it. All right. I kind of get yeah. that. <laughs> I get that. You square? It's for smoking doobies. Yeah. That's why I got it in my car. Yours, is for, <laughs> yours is for farts. Mine's to cover up and send to McDonald's. Yeah. That's what it is. So nobody asks questions. Uh, I have a question. <laughs> was there a bowl of was there a bowl of uncracked nuts on the ta- on your coffee table? <laughs> up? That was obviously done before I got the the backstory. Yeah. Uh, when was the last time you had an orangina? I I, I don't drink sugary drinks. Because body that. is a temple. Look yeah. at that. Hmm. Pretty classy. Yeah, but, I, but again, it was like I was I wasn't allowed to growing up. Like I, you were meanwhile, my trained mom was like di- crushing crushing cokes and frescas and shit yeah. like all the time. And you were trained in discipline. She was a world class fighter. Bored and fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. Own anything by Nerf currently? Yes. He's got kids. Got kids. Yeah. Damn. Well, I mean, before we had kids. Ansley, Ansley and I had one of those Whistler Nerf. Oh football. my god! Oh. We would go to the park to the do vortex. Us. Oh, when the kid had that thing that showed up. Remember, you saw that when you were a kid. Yeah, like, who is this? There's guy? A, a six-year-old could rifle that thing like 400 <laughs> yards. Hmm. Is there currently a bottle of Pam cooking spray at your house? Yes, unused. Okay. Where do you keep the butter at your house? On the counter or in the refrigerator? The refrigerator. I would like to keep it on the counter. Growing like, up, were you a counter family? Always a counter family. Butter mm, was wow. always soft. Look, I love soft butter. Look at this. Yeah, that's look the way this. to go. An enigma. I yeah. like it. My, well, my Ansley, uh, she she likes it cold because she likes to slice it and eat slices of butter. Ooh, okay. Holy shit. I, yeah. got, a, I, got, a, I got a real thing with butter, too. Dude, I... I have to leave the kitchen. I can't. I can't watch her do it. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's making my blood my blood <laughs> run cold. A, because it's it's like I put this, butter on. Cake. This, this is what she'll do. She'll she'll slice slice some butter, keep it on the 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 butter knife, bite a muffin, chew it, oh. and then chase it with butter. Wow! Ooh. Wow! Yeah, I know what Foley's doing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! Yes. Dude, have you ever tried that, buddy? Come on. I've, okay. Yeah. When yeah, it comes yeah, to yeah. butter, I've done it all. I've yeah. seen it all. He's yeah. boofed it. Yeah. I, I will. I will admit. That's pretty sick. Like I, I tried it once just to see what she was doing. It's pretty. It's wild. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty sick. Holy shit! Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Hmm. Have you ever bought a product that was as seen on TV? Yes. Ah, uh, what was it, Sid? Uh, the the last one was the uh, those glasses that. Uh, <laughs> It's, he, like, he wanted us to be like, oh, yeah, the glasses. Yeah, what, what, the, 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 better, the, better the H, for the road? The HD sunglasses. Oh, the one that, like, that makes you look like a... Like a, they're, like a they're like army like issues. Yeah, tact- yeah. They're like tactical. You can use them at yeah, night, tactical, too. They're pretty, yeah, 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 they're pretty sick. Yeah, tactical. Yeah. yeah, the guy looks real tactical on those. It's always in a desert, and you can see the rattlesnake yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Does it work? I think so. I think they work. He's just making sure no one's creeping up on him. <laughs> <laughs> He's just waiting out front of the porch in the middle of the night. Did you ever have the sunglasses that the little the little mirror in the corner? You can the see spy. people behind you. I had those I, as a I, kid. I had the whole spy kit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Two weeks ago. Tapping phones and shit. <laughs> Man, you're like you guys are like reminding me all the stuff I should be getting for my son right now. <laughs> yeah, dude, you should be tricking your son the fuck out. Yeah, a couple yeah. walkie talkies, hook it up. 
We have walkie talkies. Have there you ever go. taken a photo of the photo of you on a roller coaster instead of paying for it? No, but here, here's why. So anytime we went to Dorney Park, which was the, the amusement park that we went to, my dad's company had like a pavilion there. And if we were from the company, we got our pictures for free. Ooh. Yeah. That's a good set of bennies. Dude. Yeah, that Man, that's shabbies. a union job that was, right there, baby. <laughs> that was Where the do benefits. you sign up? That was, Damn. Uh, and also, that's like 20 bucks a year. Yeah. That ain't bad. Not, Cash, not only that, we could go... Anytime we just go to Dorney Park and like let them know what pavilion we were with, any time over the summer, and we just got it for free. That's fucking dope. Yeah. That's not too bad. Dude, I used we I went to Dorney Park so much in yeah. my life, so much because <laughs> like if it, if another kid's family was going, you're like, oh, I'll go. Yeah, but like, mom, can I go to Dorney Park with them? You know, and it's just like I didn't need any money. Yeah, yeah, just go. Yeah, just hop in and go. Holy shit, that's funny. Hmm. Okay. I got a, uh, I got one or two here from uh, Patreon. Yeah, let's hit it, guys. If uh, when you join the Patreon, we'll read your questions. Um, so this is from Mark. This is washing your feet in the shower. Who actually does this? If you don't, are you garbage? Talking about scrubbing them with soap. What do you do? I I, I wash them. Well, how? Like who? You, uh, what? Do, what's the? You know, I just you know I work on my balance. I like lift one foot up, mm-hmm. scrub it. And then, uh, I, for some reason, I never lift the second foot up. I always bend down to do the second foot. Yeah, because you don't want to. You, you might have soap on the bottom of your foot. It's a uh, it's a safety precaution. Let's go with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot do either of those things. So what I have is a little suction cup thing that looks like a foot that has bristles on it. A little foot scrubber. It looks like a flip flop that you stick to the bottom of the of the tub, and you stick your and you bend over and put some soap on Wait. it. And then, I feel like he's going to say that's garbage, but before he does, that's fucking genius. Yeah. No, it's great. Yeah. No, I mean, it's garbage that it's, he has to do it that yeah. way. That's different. <laughs> it's not a luxury. It's a must. Uh, I'm, I'm, I have the gar- most garbage. I don't think I've ever cleaned the bottom of my feet ever. Oh, my God. The water does it. I'm in the, I'm in the shower, baby. <laughs> Gravity does that. I'm standing in water for 10 minutes. You got to soap them up a little bit. Well, yeah, bit. it's the soap that cleans. Well, yeah. the soap, it all goes onto the ground, baby. I'm step- I'm waddling in the shampoo, the conditioner, a little yeah. bit of cum, whatever do you, you got. Do you? move your feet back and forth to try to like i don't even i don't even think i think about it to be honest i don't it's never registered my mind yeah i would love to see the bottom of your feet (laughs) patreon.com slash are you garbage i don't think it's that crazy let me me get a selfie with the bottom of your feet (laughs) (laughs) you're a pavilion member you get it for free (laughs) that's some quick fizz on kippy's part Um, i got one okay go have you ever made a dish at home that used tater tots as the main ingredient well, I also smoke weed. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dude, I remember. That's garbage. I Dude, I made, a, <laughs> I made a fucking whole tray of frozen tater tots. That's all it was. I think I sprinkled a little cheese and some sriracha on it. All fucking banged up one night. My wife woke up and was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm in heaven right now. Like, <laughs> you yeah. slap an egg on there. Yeah. It's fantastic. Um, hmm, okay. I, I had once put tater tots on top of spaghetti. Wow. Hmm, trashy, but I don't hate it. Dude, it it was I never did it I never did it again. How I do you get it? it? I feel like that's tough to get all together. Uh it wasn't. Okay. It, it wasn't. <laughs> and it's also it's also too, because uh, normally I, I actually did do it twice. Cause normally I like to cook my tater tots. So they're 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 cooked all the way but still a little soft. On the but, outside? Yeah, I'm not not super crunchy, but it doesn't work Ooh, well I'm with a spaghetti. crunchy guy. I had to the, the next time I did it, which was probably like my second plate mm-hmm. i like heated the tater tops up more so they were crunchy yeah man in the spaghetti like a crouton i might do that again yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds good to me all right uh, i got one or two more here from patreon and then we got to wrap it up um this is from ayur I'm, i hope i'm pronouncing it correct a i u r um have you ever shared a toothbrush or used someone else's razor hmm i don't think so yeah Using somebody it. else's razor is a tough look. I've done it. I've done it with my brother. I've done it with my girl. I did it. I did it last night with my lady. Your brother? Oh, really? What? You're shaving with a with a where? Where'd you shave it? Down here on the neck. She yeah. got some like Instagram one, dude. It fucking it's it's like it's like <laughs> fucking butter, daddy. Oh, yeah. I feel it feels fantastic. She uses my razor. Yeah. For shit. Yeah. So like technically, I do share a razor with somebody, but it's not your choice. I would n- yeah. It's it's not. And she 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 also will use my toothbrush like it's. Like nothing. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Holy that's savage, shit. dude. Yeah. Did you ever try to have to use it when it was wet already? Does she not have a toothbrush? What's going on? No, she does, but it's like, so we, we use an electronic toothbrush that has the replacement heads. So we have the one electronic toothbrush, but then the multiple heads. Uh-huh. And if she puts my head, like if my head is on the toothbrush already and she uses it, she'll just be like, ah, whatever. I'll just keep going. You guys are close, huh? <laughs> that's devastating. Good that's, for you. I would fuck. I, that's grounds for termination on my part. <laughs> that's wild to me. Yeah. She, I tell her not to tell me when she does it. Anymore. I would rather not brush my teeth than know that. Yeah. That would bug me out. Yeah. Hmm. I was worried my dad used my toothbrush one time and it, it, it grossed me out. Not that I don't love my dad. I love you, buddy. But he wouldn't want to use mine either. Hmm. All right. I got, would. I got one more. This is from Tom on Patreon. Uh, have you ever prepared hot food in a hotel room? <laughs> <laughs> and he said the only the only acceptable one is like a cup of noodles or something. Sure. Oh, dear God. Yeah, I did. I yeah. Have, a cup I of have. noodles is fine. I mean, what especially when you're on the road. Cup of noodles? Stuff. No. Well, so when, when we first moved to Atlanta, we didn't have a place to stay. So we were living in a hotel mm-hmm. that was like a suite. Okay. That had a, like, like an a extended, kitchen extended, kitchen stay, yeah. extended stay yeah, type yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, Those man. are tough. Those are for people in a jam. I noticed while we were there. Yeah, <laughs> while we were yeah. there, we were the only people that, like, when we would see people in the hallways, we were the only people happy. Yeah, everybody else is yeah. like had to be there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn! Holy shit, Sydney Gant, Kippy, a garbage, not garbage. I'm not fully sure, but he's crazy. I'll give him that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think it's a coin flip garb. I, I, I definitely wouldn't say classy. I definitely wouldn't say garbage. You're in the, you know. The extended stay uh, Atlanta uh, motel room, unfortunately, put you over yeah. the edge. <laughs> I would say <laughs> garbage. Man, yeah, sixty percent garbage, forty percent class. I, I really or uh, normal. I mean, I I, I love the way this episode went. It was great, but I really feel like if there was the stuff from the episode we lost, I think people would be like, I don't think he's garbage. I'd be like he came. It clearly came from you. Garbage. Claim you came from a tough garbage setting your mother was fighting in the streets (laughs) yeah that was on the first episode too that's not going to be overlooked yeah Yeah. but not to mention the nursing home file that's fucking dicey so here here's here's a funny thing about my mom fighting in the streets a lot of times she'd get in these fights and these women were trying to grapple her so she'd come home with like no shirt no bra (laughs) she'd walk home from the fight with her titties out just like <laughs> confident, like come into the house. I remember one time she came in the house, she opened up the door. Your homework done? like scratches all over her chest. Oh my and God. And me and my brother were like, what the fuck? <laughs> and she goes, she goes, this is what a champion looks like. Oh and just like walked God. upstairs to her room. <laughs> Dude, so. She's a fucking boss. <laughs> yeah, she's a, she's, a, she's a catchphrase person. Yeah. She always, she always says cool shit in yeah. moments. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I'll catch you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sydney Gant. Sydney, is there anything you want the folks out there to know? Uh, uh, no, just uh, check out Two Jack Bros. Uh, mm-hmm. so, uh, myself and my, my wife are pretty good. It's, <laughs> fun, it's funny podcast. Yeah, social media? Uh, at Sydney Gant on everything. And then at, at Two Jack Bros on everything as well. Nice. Cool. Gippy, what do you got? Uh, at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. Like I said, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Uh, full video available on YouTube. Please subscribe there. Those numbers are through the roof. Thank you for all the support, as well as Patreon.com. Guys, the support we've gotten over this podcast has been fucking fantastic. Yes, Honestly, sir. from the bottom of our hearts, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. Gang, we love you. Toby, we love you, buddy. And t uh, At H. Foley on Ice on Twitter. Foley Grams on Instagram. Uh, we will see you next week. Peace. Peace.